Friday, everybody. Welcome back. Kerbal Space Program. Here we go. Looks like the sun is getting ready to set. It's late in the afternoon. What are we going to do today? Well, we've got a lot of debris. I don't think we're going to do a whole lot of cleanup because cleanup is boring. But what I think we are going to do, we've got to set up a curb net communication network so that as we push out to the outer realms of the solar system, we have a way to communicate back home. Our wonderful probe here at Moho hardly communicates when it's way over here. It's really weak. So if we can set up a string of satellites that sit probably around here, or maybe around here, somewhere in those general areas, we might be able to have some fairly decent communication throughout all this area. When we get out here to these areas, it... Uh, It takes a long time to travel out here. These are a long way away. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be able to communicate with things out there. So we're going to build ourselves some really great, big, huge, gigantic communication satellites. To uh, solidify our communications where in constant communication with Kerbal, regardless of where it's at here in the orbit. And that's going to take a few time warps and adjustments to make sure that as things come flying out here, that we get them into some really good orbits around our solar system. So, that's what we're going to work on today. It may not be as exciting as a lot of the other people who stream Kerbal, but hey... I do some really screwed up things. That's what matters. So here we go. Also, I'm keeping track. It's July 21st, 2023. We are more than halfway through with this year. That poses absolutely no scientific meaning to anybody. But it's just really cool that we're like halfway through, a little more than halfway through the year. Because, I mean, where's the year gone? What have we all been doing? Look at all the fun and exciting things that have taken place in that time. batteries because these things generating a lot of communication data got to be able to do something where's our big boy the RA100 I think that's what we want phased array transceiver that's a relay want to make sure that I'm using the right one. Phased array transceiver. Beam power converter. Antenna. Microwave transducer. What does this one give us? 
relay rating, antenna type relay, so that's a good transmitter. 20 minutes a second requires electric charge of 4,000 a second when transmitting. How big is that? Oh! That's a big boy. What does it look like deployed? Hmm. I'm, I'm not 100% sure that I've... that I've used this one. Um... making sure that this is going to work. It says it's a relay. Deployable solar panel cells. Generator must be started. Type microwave can switch in flight. Mirror power, transmit power. Capable of efficiently transmitting large amounts of power in the microwave spectrum without requiring it. It can also receive power in the microwave spectrum, but it's limited to short ranges due to its relatively small surface area mass. Okay, so it really is a short range, but high speed. That's not what we want. That's garbage. Okay. See, this is why we read. That's just a high gain antenna. Although the Communitron 9999 boasts an impressive amount of bandwidth available to its limited, it is limited to sending signals at the speed of light. However, it's still the best option given that nothing came of warp technology. It says antenna type relay. That's a little fella, isn't it? Wonder if that's gonna be our best part for this. I'm gonna experiment with a couple of these things because I'm not 100% sure what I'm even looking at here. I just might be a total and complete idiot. Is that thing crooked? I don't, I don't get why it's crooked. Why can't it be straight? I think we've got to go with... And these are... 120 on the monopropellant size. Got a nice little model propellant motor here, if I recall correctly. Where's our little model propellant mo uh, booster? That's liquid fuel. That was one mono. Liquid fuel, liquid fuel, liquid fuel. Hey, how's it going, man? First time chatter. Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy. I 
know, other than the puff, I know I had a different liquid motor here somewhere. Let's see what my filters are. That's my variant. Filter by resource. Nitro intake, kilowatt, liquid. Lithium, oxygen, hydrogen, monopropellant. Type's not gonna work. Filter by function. That's essentially what we were set on. Search. Okay, so we have the puff. That's side storage. Thought we had a different monopropellant motor other than that one. missing poodle main cell clearly not the vector no Solid fuel, solid fuels, ramjet. Ah, where am I missing it? Was a little orbital insertion engine. Jets. There it is. That's a lot, though. That's a pretty big boy. I don't need something that's 200 kilometers a second. This is just a small probe. Maybe the puff will probably do what we want it to do. Probably overthinking this like I usually do. Liquid fuel, liquid fuel, liquid fuel. All right, well, let's see what the puff can do for us. Puff the magic dragon. Gives us 1100 meters a second. This has reaction control wheels on it, doesn't it? So let, let's, let's go about this a little bit differently. center of mass up towards the top that's what I figured so we want to put maybe we should keep the probe because that's got our reaction control well on it doesn't it that should be okay though heavy is this? This thing seems like it's stupidly heavy. It's one ton. How heavy is this one? 
Ah, that one's considerably lighter. Decide how these things are going to get power, too. Um, super lithium. Charge. Of course, this one here gives us 24. We don't want three of them, just want two. Dos. And we want more up here so it's more centered on there. So these deploy out. Ah! My mouse had slipped off my screen. All right, retract. Someone just whoop whooped me. Attach this thing to uh, put it into orbit. We are going to need another decoupler so that we can put that's way too small. So we're going to have to have fairly good orbital insertion motor here Still, I mean, it's 1.08 on the thrust to weight ratio. That's not too bad. For getting it into that higher orbit, I think we're probably good. Two, 
just acting like I think we're okay. of the two so we need that there it, it was right I just screwed it up okay because that's gonna fire that guy we've got this to kick yeah okay I'm back on the same page as everyone else now I I know I'm not I know I, I lied I'm just trying to decide if I should skip the mono propellant. I'll go with the small fuel tank instead. I mean, weight-wise, it's not much different, but I think that puff is a lighter engine than anything else I can put on there that's liquid fuel. See that that there's attachment Let's go with that. <sighs> Ten ton vessel, huh? Oh, we've got the perfect payload for this. Test relay X01. Because we really don't know how this relay is going to behave. Uh, oh, we want sub assemblies. Come on, Frank. Rocket's name is Frank. Where did I miss my decouplers? You were sitting right on it, yet, yeah, doofus. Guy, here's what we need. Yeah. 
Uh, no, that's not what we need. Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Can't change that. Can we change this one? Nope. But we can go... Parked. And who are you? Okay, you can come up here. A fairing. And now everything's out of out of whack here. These are for these are for here, so I want this guys down here. Fairing is for let's put the fairing on this guy here. This one is for in here. Because who's this guy? We got this one right here, right? Which is gonna be you. It's gonna be you. I think it's that one. Because that's the only one that's not lighting up when I touch it. Which means you've got to come down here. i got to see what engines we're kicking off here. Because that seems like a lot more engine than what, what we need. And these guys. And then, yeah, we don't want you. How's it going, man? And we got this up here. Alright. I think we're ready to light this candle. Sorry, which one's half of Casey Kalem's tagline? I've said so much, and I'm sure my, part of it might be from him. I don't know. Let's light this candle. Is that what it is? Most people don't even know who Casey K Kasem is anymore. It's kind of sad. I spent a lot of time listening to him. Let's go 600 kilometers. Gauge autopilot. I want to turn to zero degrees. Turn auto staging off. Enable auto warp. <laughs> Yay! 
Yes. Um, yeah, keep your feet on the ground and reach for the stars. It's definitely something for Casey Keys. That just, that just uh, screams how old we are. Yeah, at the end of America, yeah. Most people have no idea who he even is, just like uh, most people don't know who, who uh, uh, Walter Cronkite is, right? I kicked those off just seconds before they ran out of fuel. I don't think we're going to have any fuel left in this thing when we're done, because... as we're going in this thing. job, Frank. Funny thing, this being the week of Apollo 11, is there is a, was a lot of retrospect about it. And I said, I six, the guy that really depressed me was when it said parents were one and three. Yeah. Um, my dad would have been, uh, Let's see. Hey, what? Gun. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh huh. Only shoot the two directions. Wow. Uh, my, my dad would have been 29 when Apollo 11 happened. What, what are you, you, you coming over here to watch my stream? Is that what you're, you're trying to muscle in on my stream here? You watched a lot of my stream last night, laughed and giggled the whole time. People could hear you, disrupting the whole stream. What's wrong with you? Oh, I see. Why does it say we don't have any energy flow? Oh, we do. It's right there. 23 kilowatt. Okay. And we're behind the sun. Oh, sorry. We're behind the planet. Is that better?
Okay. Right on. So your your mom and my dad were pretty close to the same age. What do we have out here? I don't know, but it's got a weak little transmitter on it, but it sure is communicating to our relay. That's good. Okay. So, we want to push this guy. Where's What's our orbit? So we want to go this way. We want to push this guy here at our parry. Whoosh. Oh, I did it backwards again, didn't I? Yep, I did it backwards. I always forget that if you're going inward, you want to start. Let's see, here's our orbit. If we're going outward, we want to be on the outside. If we're going inward, we want to be on the inside. What happens when you run a, sh a shuttle and suddenly... It explodes. It goes pop. I think it just happens. Oh, we don't want to quiet go. Well, do we want to be on the inside of Drez or the outside of Drez? Why don't we go just slightly on the outside of Drez? I was not even born yet when Apollo happened, so... The first Apollo mission, anyway. I think they were just wrapping it up about the time I was born. So we want to go maneuver node. Bring up our maneuvering thrusters. Space is a very weird thing. Execute next node. We're gonna be time warping. We're gonna have to have a little bit of a burn. Well, we'll complete the burn with Frank. And then we'll have the remainder on our orbital insertion engine here. Actually. Off full power. <sighs> I just screwed up. I double tap my space bar. I double tapped it, so I'm not going to get all the use out of this motor. I can, but. That little guy's just gonna speed off into the <laughs> speed off into the wild dark yonder. <laughs> I hope I don't think I'm gonna have enough Delta V to circularize it. I let's 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 revert flight to launch. Let's start this all. I double tapped. <sighs>
Yes. Yes. Alright, let's let's try this again. All I can hear is <laughs> Okay. Sounds good. Uh auto warp, okay. It was going so well and I double tapped. We would have had just enough Delta V to do it. I just wants to listen to the rocket motors. mean by the wrong game to do double taps. Okay. What games need to double tap the space bar? Delta V does, does this have? This ship? Alright. You can have the engine back. Alright. Back into my control now.
seems like that's not burning very hard, is it? see where that gets us. Warp 2 here. Well, we're communicating with Moho pretty well. Should have rotated this so we were pointed more towards the sun. But I think we're okay. Uh row. Are we out of communication because we ran out of power? Yep, looks like we're out of communication. We ran out of power. We still got really strong communication. We're at 99% signal strength. Things are communicating with us pretty good. Let's get right here. Add maneuver. Let's circularize ourselves. Whoa, too much. Bring it back in just a little bit. Twenty nine, eight eighty, twenty nine, eight forty seven. I guess that's probably good enough. How close to the Apo are we? Execute next node. How much delta V is that going to take? Eh, yeah, we're a little low. We can burn the rest off with the RCS. I think we'll do just fine. And we got full solar exposure. Awesome. Oh, don't tell me that engine just went kaplooey. <sighs> really hope that engine didn't just die. dead. What is it? Gotta be
fix repairable parts. There we go. Still saying it needs maintenance. I guess I could just set its orbit. Hmm. We may not be able to do these missions if we don't have any way of, uh, keeping these engines from breaking on the way up. Because we would have literally no way of circularizing these things because they'd all break by the time they got there. Let's revert flight for a minute. I gotta think about this. Cause I can't remember if it's a mod or what that causes these parts to break. that won't break. Or they all fail regardless. When the mean time between failures expires, the part wears out and needs EVA to repair to fix. That's on every single engine, isn't it? I don't know, Sean. Probably. Yeah, every single one of these engines. I think I may need to just uninstall the EVA repair mod. Just until I can get my network set up, because there's no way I'm going to be able to do this network 
without So let's let's leave this. Let's look at. Ooh, why is everything black? There we go. I think we're gonna save save this here. Yes. And I think I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna disable that mod just temporarily. Add-ons and mods. Not the button I wanted. Quit. Alright, bear with me for just one second, guys. Um, I, I can't find my sea can here. We may have to do something else until I can, uh, Fix this. I'm just re-downloading it. Sorry, it, it, it's running, guys. Let me turn my screen back on. Let's see, EVA repairs, I think, is what we've got to shoot for here. EVA repairs, we're just going to uncheck that. Apply. Engage. It's a silly mod anyway. Because I wanted to utilize engineers, but I can't build my curb network if, if things keep breaking before I can build my curb network.
Um, I think right now it's uh like twenty two something, twenty nine something. I don't know. I'll have to go to the store and look it up again. It's been a while since I priced out just Kerbal. Dusting Duna. Why would we need to dust Duna? I would see us taking a dusting on Duna, but... Hey, Dad. Yeah. Uh huh. They're on, we're just on the They're on the ones on the rocket, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see. Uh, uh. Testing springs, bracing for impact. See, these are the two that are dying on the on the. Yeah. They're going down. I've never been able to build one of these. Snipping the red wire. <laughs> Not the red wire. Uh. Right. Vessel Research One probe is missing part. Oh, what a shame. The repair bots are gone. <laughs> I don't know. I could never get them to work. <laughs> I, I had one repair bot up there because I didn't know how it worked, so I was trying to see how it worked. But I could never figure out how to get the repair bot to work, so they were just drifting around in space. Unknown part module. Uh oh, what did it break? It's missing part module, EVA repairs, EVA repair bots. Oh, that's fine. It's not going to break it. We hope. We're going to try this again. Think it's going to work? It'll take a miracle. So we're just going to set this. Oops, wrong one. Is this controlled by a rocket at a remote control? It can be. No, I do not have Kerbals flying on this model. You could have just left that thing in space and collect science. There was no science on it to collect. Is this the land? Yes. What is it for? This, no, this is a, a communication satellite. This is to set up my network so that I can push deeper into space and still have communications with Kerbal. Why would they get sick? Because of the G-Force. See this little G-Force meter here? Well, that's how they would know. You 
know how when you're on a, an amusement park ride and it feels like it's gonna suck you to the outside? That's called a G-force. Yes. Getting up to a good altitude. In fact, those motors are still tumbling. Actually, with the trajectory, those are going to fall back to the planet. See, because this is where we're at right now. So they're going to fall back to the planet. It's going to take them a while to fall, but they're going to fall back to the planet. up to that altitude a little bit. Ricky Tiki Tabby. I don't know why it came to your mind either. It's a silly phrase. Try and keep maximum exposure so we can generate as much power as possible. What is that? That's some of our debris falling down. from this. We're not quite up to that height yet, are we? Nope, we got a long way to go. Moho! We need to do a mission to Moho. Well, we've already got a probe up there. Yep. know if this is geo orbit or not I guess there's one way to find out no it's not all right so we want to go outward
sure. Seems like it uses less delta V this way. I don't know why. Well, I think we're also out of the sphere of influence of Kerbal, too, so that makes a little bit of a difference. Exactly. Let's not mess it up this time, huh? Let's not double tap. I know, but in Kerbal, you don't want to double tap. This is not one of those games where you double tap because you screw up your staging. See this? If I double tap, this here removes this engine off of the stack. So we just want a single bloop. No. I screwed up. Imagine what would happen if you did it. Yeah, don't, don't, don't even, yeah, don't, 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 don't even joke like that. That's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't do it, it's dangerous. Touch anything that is spent. Okay, so we have now raised our circular R up here. So we want to do a circularization burn at next apple, create node. Oh, well, fine. Let's uh, get out here then. Whee! No, we don't want to warp there in three years. Alright. Create node. How much delta V is that going to take? Just exactly what we have left in that motor. Execute. So we got we got sixteen fifty four meters a second. We got seventeen forty one meter a second left in that motor. How awesome is that? It's almost like I planned it that way. What? You think I'm that good at this game? Is 
several years. Since 2015. Since 2015? Or is it 2014? I don't know. In the 2015 somewheres. It's going to take a whole year for this thing to get up there. I was three years old. Probably. This is where the alarm clocks come into play. I should alarm clock this. And then launch another one from here. So that we can still... <laughs> Look at it communicating. Bleep, 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 bleep. There's just a small little gap to where it doesn't have communication. That's our signal strength. It's still at 98%. Yeah, this thing's going to be pretty good out there. Down to 97%. This is moving up here into its orbit for my communication network. Signal strength is getting pretty... Yep, it's lost communication with that satellite now. But it's still in communication with Kerbal. But the whole... Yeah, with uh, Kerbin, Kerbal, Kerbal. But the point is... The whole point behind this is to get enough up here to where you're in constant communication with uh, the planet. Um, why do I not have any electric charge? Don't tell me I'm too far away. Yeah, if you're too far away, it's terrible. Oh, it's getting power. I don't I don't understand. Yeah, usually with, when I'm playing Kerbal, my camera shows up right here. Yeah, it's pushing that up. Oh, it hasn't. Look. Oh, well, yeah, but it's because it's communicating here. It's a little too far away, but when it swings around here, it'll be able to communicate. Once I get more satellites up, it'll be able to communicate all the way around. But, I mean, that's still a fairly decent uh, communication string there. It's not completely gone. It's just weak. Moho just disappeared. say it's the first glitch of the stream, I would just say it's the normal Kerbal solar system. Because it's such a tiny planet. If we if we zoom out enough, all the other planets eventually go away. See? Because they're so tiny. This here? That's Hilo. That would basically be like Saturn. Have you ever made it to Saturn? Yes, I have. Look at that. Just a couple of spits of fuel left.
we're going to just go ahead and wave bye-bye to that. Just if I have to make any kind of change, they have a way of... Power mode, solar only. Beamed power. Power receiver interface, activate receiver. Technically, we can now go ahead and point that directly towards the sun, and it will stay aligned to the sun all the time now, regardless of its orbitable, or, orbitable? orbit around Kerbal. And we're pointed mostly towards the sun, but out that way too. So the antenna is pointed towards the planet. What? Why? Oh, no, this is a communication satellite. We don't want to rip it up. We just barely got it in orbit. Yeah, yeah, if you spin it hard enough, you can uh, cause stress on the vessel. All right, and that's still communicating really strong. That's got a good, strong signal to it. Harry Potter? What? Oh, helicopter. I thought you were saying Harry Potter. I'm going, Harry Potter? What do you know about Harry Potter? Uh, we want uh, Space Lab to fly, because they're going to have tons of science. They've been vacationing. Since two streams ago. Last stream. Because we brought this guy up. All right, go ahead and transmit your science. That is a refueler. It kind of looks that way, doesn't it? It would. There, now those should be pointed towards the sun. So they're pointed more towards the moon. That's okay. That's still good enough. I'm going to swing this. This way, though. The space station actually moves quite a bit.
Well, there's there's so many degrees up there that you often don't realize just how much things move. Right. Right. And we're collecting science once again. How are we already at 11 science here? No labs can take data. Okay, so we're gonna keep the rest of these experiments. Gotta keep them full. So that was a hundred and some odd data, huh? Are what nukes? You talking this vessel down here? No, this is my uh, scrapper. This is what I was going to use to uh, rendezvous with a lot of the space junk and collect the fuel and refuel our tanks. So, because we've got all these crafts here to refuel. In fact, let me show you what we... I think I've turned all the space junk off, though. Uh... <laughs> Those are all my nose cones. Uh... That's more harvester debris there, isn't it? I, I think we need to pull some stuff up because I'm very certain that if we switch to this, this is going to be a nose cone. Yeah, yeah, see, harvester debris. Okay, so we're going to go to Space Center. We're going to blow up all that harvester debris just so we can clean that stuff up. Yes. Uh, harvester debris. Let's see. It should have a total mass. Hearts 3, mass 14.66 tons. Okay, so we don't want to blow up that one. We can blow up that one. Oh, what did I just do? Did it crash because I clicked on it? Why did it take me to this? Space Center. I have no idea why it took me to that. I had done a single click on it and it just... <laughs> wonder if I can isolate just Harvester. Harvester debris explodes. Harvester debris explode. Harvester debris explode. 
because not a single one of these is over a ton. That's how I know it's a nose cone. One part, 0 0.01 tons. That's a nose cone. Boom. Now it's in even smaller particles to where it can cause more damage with things. A boom. A boom. Of course, it's in space, so it's just kind of dust. You don't even hear a boom. I get to see that ending badly. Okay, that's got a lot there. What debris is that? Okay, that's pretty big. Test relay debris. That's that fuel tank. We know that's gone, so we can just terminate that. That's 12 parts. That's fairly big mass. Oh, well, that's our test relay. Four parts. But that one's... We could blow that one up, too, because that was our first big engine so we can blow him up there's no fuel left on that one either fuel storage a little pusher like okay that's actually little pusher okay little pusher debris that's probably got some fuel on it uh, that's orbiting around with the space station science rovers sitting out over here so we don't need to worry about him Research debris. That's 0.18. That's got to be... Oh, that's landed on Kerbin. Let's recover that. Research relay. Is that landed? That is. Let's go ahead and recover that one. Search debris here. Let's recover that. Runt. Runt debris. That still has fuel on it, I bet. That still has fuel on it. That's going to probably still have fuel on it. I'm okay. 0 0.08 ton, one part. That's not going to have anything. We'll terminate him. A little pusher debris, a little pusher debris. That's some pretty big stuff. That's some big stuff. That's some big stuff. Those may not have anything on it. Mun probe, little pusher debris, little pusher. Well, it's just you can't get the resources off of it. 
that's the whole point, is I want to try and get these resources so I can reuse them. Because they still have some fuel on it, may as well go get the fuel. Two parts, 1.11 1 tons. I wonder what that is. That's just research probe. Is that an actual probe? Repair craft. That might have fuel on it. That might have fuel on it. 0. 0.52 tons though. Let's see what that actually is. Been up here for four years. Oh, that's dry. Okay, so we can go ahead and kill that one. I thought it was probably... I was pretty certain it was an empty something because it's, it's too light to really have much of anything on it, right? So we can go ahead and blow that up. Power unit. That's a pretty big part. Two moho. We could terminate the moho craft. Should we terminate the moho craft? No? Okay. That's a pretty small part. 0 0.05 ton. Whatever that is. That's uh, not worth. You want to see what it is? It's probably a nose cone, son. At 0 0.05 ton, it's probably just a nose cone. She's telling me it's bedtime. Oh, it's a stack decoupler. Yeah, we can definitely blow that up. Ugh. What? Point zero five ton. Goodbye. That's probably the same thing. We can say goodbye to that too. Uh, same thing, because there were several of those. That one's slightly larger. Yeah. Ooh, my. That one's orbiting. Or is that landed? That's landed. Okay. I don't think we'll... worry about those quite yet. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and... I mean, they're, they're on... They're probably just dead parts, son. One, three, one, three, one, three... We could probably destroy all these. Because that's just trash. But how else are we supposed to see the debris filled from space? Because we still got this little fella. That's orbiting. 
That's fairly large. That's fairly large. That's fairly large. We could probably terminate that. Because it's just a probe body. See, I bet if we went to that, we'll find out that that's probably a partially full fuel tank. Or it still has some kind of fuel in it. It doesn't. We could blow that one up. See, some of these don't have fuel at all. Yeah, they're just hanging out. It's just orbiting. It's not really dropping anywhere. It's just floating around out there. That was the last one on our, or the top one on our list, wasn't it? That's the one we just looked at, wasn't it? Yeah, see this one here is even showing us it doesn't have any fuel on it. So we can terminate that one. That one shows it doesn't have any fuel on it, so we can terminate that one. Ugh, I double clicked that time. What happens when you double click something? It takes me to it just like it did. See? See? It took it to me. I remembered that one. No. Yeah. I told them no, they're storage tanks. You know, it's going to be real interesting if I go through this and every single one of those tanks are empty now. Because I want to know where all that fuel went to. I, I mean, unless it literally boiled off, right? Um, I don't know if they still have boil off on this, do they? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see, because there's no fuel on that one. I know there were some when I kicked it off, it, they still had fuel on them. Yeah, it still has a little bit of monopropellant on it. That one's got fuel. That one still has fuel. That's just a probe. Okay. Let, let, let's turn the actual probes off. And look at just our debris. Because that'll narrow things down for us. That's got fuel. That's got fuel. 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 Good. So some still have fuel. I don't know what that is. That would be pretty cool. That doesn't have any liquid fuel, but it does have monopropellant on it. We could go grab that monopropellant. See, yeah, that one there doesn't have any fuel. Let's go ahead and kill that one. That's got fuel, that's got fuel. Okay. 
restocking fee. I forgot all about restocking fee. There's little runt. <laughs> it's a potato gun. It shoots potatoes into space. Uh, yes. Okay, we can terminate that one. Alright, so everything left here should have some kind of fuel on it, except for there was one I had a question about. This one right here. It says it's debris. It's got a refund here. But what is it? Doesn't say it's got fuel or anything on it, but it's six, po six parts at 8.9 tons. What is it? I'll show you here in a minute. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I forgot all about this. I think we were going to do a rescue mission on this. Uh, because technically this is still a usable part. We just are missing a node on one side. So, but that's good because we can take the clamp, attach it to that. And the little clamper will have a place to live. You know what? Actually, let's do that. We are going to rendezvous with this right now. No, this is just a, a node. So let's go back. Sure. So what is this one called? This is a uh, Space Lab Regular One. Is that what it is? I, I don't know. That's a relay satellite. These are probes. Got to remember who I'm looking at. It was like... I can't remember. <sighs> so I want to grab that, bring it back. I think I've got a good spot for it. Because I think if we were to put it like right down here or maybe even right here or something, we'll have a good spot to park this guy. So we are going to disconnect here. It's got a lot of fuel. Because this is our collector. Move ourselves down and out of the way of the space station. And that's repair craft. Find that restocking fee. Is it power unit debris? Got to see if it's restocking fee. It's not restocking. I forgot what the name of that craft was. I'm such a doofus. Hey, Dad. 
sure. It's a, I'm not really thinking about that right now, son. That's the one, Space Lab 2A Debris, because that's our parts. Okay, how do we rename that? Where is that located? That is located behind us. Okay, got it. Where is our... got to activate it that's why no. harvester that's the one we need to fly harvester and we need to go get that space lab a2 debris that's what we need that is almost directly behind us Okay. Find our target. That's probably going to be set as target. Okay. We are quite a ways off. Probably because we're practically in the same orbital orbital sphere. Uh, let's change our orbit here. Activate the engine. I don't like the sound of that. It sounded like it's broken now. All right, let's change our. Well, what if we just do rendezvous planner? See what this thing comes up with. Three thousand meters a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Disengage that. Three hundred three thousand meters a second. No, 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 no. Let's uh just burn retrograde for a second here. Maneuver. You know what? Let's skip the ad maneuver. Let's pull up our maneuver planner. And we want to tell this thing to circularize at next parry. Create node and execute next node. So what we're doing is we're bringing our orbit down from our target so that we are moving slightly faster than our target. 
and we're going to orbit around, and we're going to catch up to it, and then we're going to capture it. And then we're going to repeat the process again to rendezvous with our space station. Sure. Yeah, that that's just residue. Because it's the little papers and stuff, right? So now if we go engage autopilot, look, we're not using as much Delta V anymore. And we're going to command from here. We'll set this down here. And that's going to be in... It looks like 4.1 orbits. 4.71 orbits. So we're going to orbit around the planet four times, almost five times, so that we can speed up or catch up to what we're rendezvousing to. And that's where these node indicators come into play. here we're gonna burn again to catch up to it that's that's the whole thing with rendezvousing is you either have to be going faster or slower than it it's usually better to be going faster so that you get ahead of it and then you can catch you can let it catch up to you on the rendezvous side so <clears throat> because we're gonna be I think this is our target here. It's one of these. I think it might be that one there. This should be our fourth orbit. Maybe it's that one there. I can't remember. That's got to be it right there. And now if we watch this, you'll see that we'll catch up to it. On intercept course, we're going to burn another... 6.1 meter or, or 64 meters a second <laughs> see how we're starting to catch up to it now we're going to be slightly ahead of it and then when we do our burn we're slowing ourselves down so that this catches up to us see there's our target right there Now that it's caught up to us, we're going to maneuver towards it and start uh, getting ready to capture it. So we're going to boost towards it for about 3.6 meters a second. Just a little bit of push. Now we're going to let it come to us. We, we've kind of almost stopped ourselves at this point. So it is now moving towards us. I mean, technically we're still moving. But in relation to our target, um, we're, we're stopped in relation to the target. So the target's moving towards us. If that makes sense.
and this gets about 75 meters from us, we're going to do our burn to uh, match its speed. Planning to match velocity as closest approach, which it's doing right now. And see, we're just a little under 75 meters from it. So now, if I rotate this thing back around... set where's where's my docking let's go docking maneuver turn these guys off you need to control the vessel from a docking port blah 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 target is not a docking port does this count as a docking port to control from here? It does not. What if we enable autopilot? Okay, so it looks like it's going to grab it over on this side. I'm actually very satisfied with how well this thing maneuvers. Then we're going to boost forward. And that's going to grab right onto that. Click. It is just that easy, kids. See how easy that is? Piece of cake. Now. Where's our space lab regular one? Right there. Said as target. Now again, we are going to have to drop our our um, Apo down just a little bit. Circularize. Add next parry. Create and execute. I guess I have to time warp, huh? that was about I guess we hadn't finished the maneuver from the uh, orbital burn there exactly what I had in mind because we were going to set up a curb net but
we had some questions, some quay homes needed to be answered. Oh, okay. So you're saying I don't have to provide any answers to anybody anymore. What? Oh, that's right, because this thing's got reaction control wheels on it. That's why this thing spins around like there's no tomorrow. There's our target. Whoosh. I think the game... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I think the game just crashed. Everything paused there for a little longer than it normally does. I was a little freaked out for a second. Nothing was moving. Hey, Kurt, how's it going, man? How the heck are you, dude? You gonna be up to playing this weekend? Are you gonna be busy? Well, I... It's a Friday. I wouldn't think you'd be any other way. Yes. <laughs> awesome, man. Cool. Yeah, everybody really wants to play. Brian doesn't have anything going on. Don doesn't have anything going on. Devin's gonna be bored out of his mind. So, yeah, I, I think... Uh, from three to nine. That's okay. Your three o'clock is like our five o'clock, so that should still work out okay. Oh yeah? How's that working out for you? Is that just for uh one of the limo companies out there, or is that for uh, something you're doing? <laughs> Cancun, Mexico. Awesome. No, I, I actually uh, drove limo for a few years, too. So, that was pretty fun. Oh, alright. Right on. Right on. Yeah, I actually drove for uh, for a, a mortuary out in California for a while. That was a kick in the pants. Well, I mean, I was driving the limo for like the family. Um, there were other people who drove for the uh, the casket and stuff. So. But yeah, it's, 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 yeah, I did that for about uh, six months. It wasn't bad money. I was making about 120 to 150 a weekend. So that was back in the 90s. I mean, that's what you think I should be an Uber driver. What vehicle would I use, son? The truck would not make a good Uber. The journey might make a good Uber, but the truck would not make a good Uber. It, it's way too hard on gas, son. Control from here. Well, let's wait until we... I probably ought to engage the autopilot. We're starting to get awful close to this thing now. <laughs> not thinking about it. Just... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I got to mow the lawn in the morning, and then I'll be ready to play yeah we, we plan on getting started like around noonish one o'clock ish so that'd be like 11 12 ish your time actually noon would be 12 o'clock your time or 10 o'clock your time and one would be 11 o'clock your time so
Said ass target. And we want to go here. Control from here. Docking. That's going to tuck this thing on the outside. That's probably pretty good because that puts it going out that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of surprised you can too, but you know, you've had a lot of practice. Why don't you go up and go to bed, son? You look like you're about ready to fall asleep. You're laying down on Polly's bed. And she's getting grumpy about it. Here, come take care of your milk and your, your mug and go ahead and head on up. I didn't realize that it was 10 o'clock already, so I gotta do this maneuver and then I'm gonna call the stream done. We need to turn our cameras on so we can see where we're at in relation to that space station here make it bigger make it bigger there now you guys can all see where we're at here Easy. Easy. See, it's coming up this way. But here, we're going straight towards it. I love perspective. Now, can I target this here? Uh, release, there we go. Let's go RCS back this up. Turn our stability here. Small little adjustments. Yeah, I'm trying not to blow up the space station.
I wish I had a camera. This doesn't have a camera on it, does it? Doesn't. Flying by the seat of my pants here. Not what I want it. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get it. <laughs> right where I wanted it. Nice. Gotta love it. You gotta love it, baby. That was all skill. That's how you fly that thing, baby. Aim camera. Let's see how close to the center I got it. Oh, I think I got it dead on. Look at that. That is about as close to dead on as you can get it manually flying it. Nice. Yeah, we'll talk to you, Kurt. Have a good night, man. And I think that's where I'm going to end it, guys. Um, yeah. Still got the skill to maneuver in space, baby. Hope y'all saw that. I mean, yeah, it, it wasn't much of a maneuver going from here over to here, but no computers on that one. It was all manually controlled. So, and I found a use for the stocking node that I originally screwed up on. What a perfect spot for that thing to just grab on and hold on to it. We now have a storage space for our our harvester. We've got extra docking nodes in case we need them, which I. Not 100% sure we're going to quite yet, because we still got a lot of spots here to fill up, right? So, maybe I might bring another one of these up and connect it over here. And I might even bring something, extend it down, maybe give us a little more power out here. But we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll make a decision. In the meantime, thank you all for joining. This will be the end of this stream here. Remember, if you miss my streams, you can catch it on my YouTube channel. I take all of my streams and move them over there when I'm all done. For raw video, completely unprofessional. Absolutely no additional editing or, 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 or tomfoolery going on there. It's just this raw video that you've seen right here. Dumped right over the there. Like, subscribe, hit all the buttons, all the things. If you like what I did, if you didn't like what I did, do it anyway. And then tell me what I did wrong and I can correct it. We'll see, see if we can get something better for you to watch and enjoy. In the meantime, if I don't talk to you, have a great weekend. Later. Control. <laughs>
That's why you disable your engines, kids. <laughs> it's an easy fix. Erp, stopped. <laughs> oh, this is why you disable engines. <laughs> uh, such tomfoolery. All right, we need to control from here. That's that's where the problem is. Look at this. Y'all got a free crazy show going on. <laughs> oh, I just completely screwed up our orbital mechanic here. Our orbital location. All because I'm an idiot. Don't be ridiculous that I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, I I just about took my entire space station and burned it up in the atmosphere. <laughs> All right, I think we're back where we need to be. <laughs> All right, have a good night, guys. <laughs>